Hi folks, it's Brad and today's t-shirt it says Ultraman Boudé, which means Ultraman Rude. And this is my final day in Akron, Ohio at the home of Jeff Hardy, the guitar player for Zero Defects. That's his amplifiers back there. I'm leaving on a jet plane for Los Angeles uh, this afternoon. And I realized in my last couple of videos I forgot to mention my donate buttons down below. So please uh, help support my work by donating. I really appreciate all of your kind donations. So I we played a show, as Zero Defects did, at a place called Annabelle's in Highland Square in Akron on Saturday night. And among the bands that were there, I think it was a five band show, the sort of headlining act was a band called Nervous Aggression, who uh, were, were a really good, uh, tight, screaming hardcore band. I liked them a lot. They had a song called Heroin is Ugly, and I'll leave a link below to where you can listen to that song if you'd like. And it was about the opiate crisis. The singer of the band Nervous Aggression is from East Liverpool, Ohio, and it's one of the these small towns in Ohio, kind of similar to the one I grew up in when we weren't in Africa, uh, Wadsworth, and a lot of these small Ohio towns are being hit really hard with the opiate crisis. And the reason that the singer of Nervous Aggression did that song, Heroin is Ugly, is he, he told me before they went on that a friend of his had died of a heroin overdose and that he'd seen a lot of other people die of it. There is a rehab clinic I've forgotten the name of it, I'm very sorry, but it's on West Market Street in Akron that is run by a guy I used to know from the old hardcore scene in the 80s. He is the brother of the person who drew Zero Defects' uh, covers for our CDs. So that's the first Zero Defects CD and that's the second Zero Defects CD. Get them while they're hot. Not sure where you can order them. I'll see if I can find that out. But he, the brother of the guy who, who drew those pictures and who was part of that scene all those years ago started a rehab clinic because he had problems with drugs. And Zero Defects, as some of you know, because I put it in my book Hardcore Zen, has a song called Drug Suck or Drugs. I think we just call it Drugs. Uh, also about that same issue, and, and we came up with it. I didn't write it. I think it's probably Tommy, our original guitarist, is probably the one who came up with that song. It was before the opiate crisis really hit, but we could see it in our own punk scene back in those days that this was not going to go anywhere well with some of the drug use that we saw and some of the kind of, um, you know, the way it become kind of chic to use these sorts of drugs, especially the the opiates, you know, but but the, you know, all the rest of them. And it, this is one of the reasons that you'll see me from time to time get really hot under the collar about people like Vince Horn at Buddhist Geeks uh, when they advocate drug use as part of the Buddhist path. Uh, when Shambhala, not Shambhala, some they're called Lions Roar now, when Lions Roar magazine and even Tricycle magazine give a platform for people who are promoting drugs as Buddhist practice, I get, I get mad about that stuff, and, and some of you who are regular viewers have seen that. And, and there's various reasons, and one of them is that Buddhism is very super explicit right from the get-go that drugs are not part of the Buddhist path. I mean, that, that's right, that's foundational stuff. That's right there at the beginning. So, so you can't, like, deny it and go, oh, this is a later interpolation by the blah, 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 you know, whatever. No, this is Buddha himself uh, put that out and said, you know, here's what this practice we're doing involves, and it involves this, that, and the other thing, and don't do drugs. And it's not, there's no argument. You cannot make the argument that certain drugs are okay in Buddhist practice because there is zero, zero support for that. So nothing. The other reason I get uh, hot under the collar about this is, I, you know, I'm not one of these people who believes in the concept of gateway drugs, because I did plenty of weed in my, you know, since I was 15 years old, I smoked and and uh, did acid and, and uh, had a few other things, never, never tried cocaine, but, you know, I did, I did a fair amount of drugs, and I... I didn't go, you know, I didn't end up in an overdose on the street. So I know it can be done. 
But when a person kind of comes on with a with a, a, a forum, a platform given to them by Buddhism, a very a very strong sort of uh, foundational world religion that has a lot of people and and a, and a big sort of you know platform to step on top of. If you step on top of that platform of Buddhism and use that to say, "Oh, drugs are fine." You don't know who is listening to that message. I mean, it could be somebody like me who who could probably take shrooms or acid and and have an experience and then you know be fine with it, or it could be like some of the people I see uh, around here who you know once they go down that path in in any capacity are gonna go you know all the way into the bad bad dark stuff. You don't know who is who is uh, listening to that, so uh, I think it's really really important to stick to the foundational stuff, especially in light of of what's going on around here. And it, and, it, and it burns me up that so many of these politicians we're seeing on on TV doing their debates and their town halls and all this garbage. Uh, there, the, so few of them are are talking about these issues, and they get you know seduced by these issues, basically non-issues that are very trendy and screamy and everybody gets excited about them. And they're not talking about things like the why so many people are dying of, of, of the overdoses in, in places like Akron, Ohio and East Liverpool, Ohio. That clinic I mentioned that, that the guy I know opened up, they have a, I wish I'd gotten a picture of it, and I tried to find one online, but I couldn't. They have a, a, a death toll, you know, deaths in Akron from heroin abuse or opium abuse, I think, uh, this year. And I noticed when I drove by it, it was 800 and some. So that means more than one a day uh, are, are dying of uh, opium-related deaths here in, in Akron, Ohio alone. And... And we, and when you look around, the, the unemployment and and the kind of desperation you see in places uh, like this in Northeast Ohio, all of Ohio, I think, I, I can fully understand why people are desperate and turning to, you know, not some of the best political things they could turn to. To, to cope with this because uh, who's who's addressing it or, or who's even just promising to take a look at it uh, you know that's who they're going to vote for and that's who they're going to support because they see what's going on around here and people on the west coast and people on the east coast you know they're they're they don't see it when you know this huge swath of the country in the middle is drowning in 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 this stuff and can't seem to find a way out so address it, you know, and don't promote drug abuse as a Buddhist. That's, you know, that's what I ask. So uh, I'm going to be in Venice Beach uh, in October 25th to do yet another podcast out there, a live podcast on stage at the, uh, what's it called, Mystic Journey Bookstore. So come out to see that. And my book, Letters to a Dead Friend About Zen, is out now, so you can order it. And we even have it up on the Hardcore Zen uh, dot info website. Uh, you can order it from there. It's going to be more expensive than ordering it from Amazon, but I will sign them. And if you want it personalized, you just uh, send a, a note along. I think there's a way to do it when you order to ask for it to be, you know, uh, to a certain name or whatever you want. I, I'll do whatever. I'll draw the dinosaur of your choice. Ask, uh, ask for a particular dinosaur. I can probably do it can't do velociraptors. I don't know how to draw them. I've tried and they come out looking crappy, so don't ask for a velociraptor. Thank you, and don't do heroin, and don't do opiates. We'll see you next time. Have a good day. Bye.